From the Camera Verde, Eleonora could enter both her very finely and sophisticatedly decorated study as well as her private chapel. It is a precious, intimate chapel painted with grace and elegance by her favorite artist, Agnolo Bronzino. The artist Bronzino was highly appreciated by the Medici family. Over the years, he was commissioned to paint several family portraits. He was also asked to create works to be sent as diplomatic gifts, such as the altarpiece of the chapel, the deposition of Christ, given to Emperor Charles V's Chancellor, Nicolas Perenot de Granvelle, reason why a second version of the painting was commissioned to him. Surrounding this are the stories of Moses crossing the Red Sea and the naming of Joshua, the miraculous birth of a wellspring in the rocks, manna falling from heaven, and the worship of the bronze serpent. The colors, poses and expressions are some of the highest expressions of Florentine mannerism. The figures hover between conflict and virtuosity. The fabrics show the iridescent tones of a silk palette. The gestures and glances have all the intensity and sweetness of the human being. But even here, we must not forget that we are at the court of Cosimo I de Medici. It is not the Egyptians, but the Turks who drown in the Red Sea. The Turks, enemies of Christianity, are an obsession of the Mediterranean in the 16th century, and the history of the Jews is nothing more than a metaphor for the fate of the Florentine people, for whom Cosimo is the new Moses, the savior capable of bringing harmony, well-being, and prosperity to his people and his land. Here, in the ancient stories, there appear references and allusions to contemporary figures. Pier Francesco Riccio, the Duke's butler, Eleonora, and the artist himself. The religious and devout Duchess spent much of her time in the chapel, but then again, she did come from the very heavily Roman Catholic Spain and was in correspondence with Saint Ignatius of Loyola, and her confessors were the Jesuit fathers. The Duchess passes her time with her activities, with amusements of women and at prayer, which to me seems like being in a monastery of cloistered nuns. <laughs>